talk about the next five minutes after you score. Stone's taking a chance. The keeper's out. Look at this. Stone scores it from midfield. Quick pitch to Deshaun Heckman. Definitely being a major there runner goes. for the Vikings. And he's just going to show that speed. He's got one man to beat. And that'll be a great touchdown for the Vikings. For South Adams. And that is the game point. Serve goes out of bounds for Neal. Heading into the second, most definitely. Eli for three. He gets it. Hand off to KCO. KCO gets in. It is touchdown. Up with it. She's going to try a three, and she'll get that. They came in and stole the zebra out of the glass case and replaced it with a tiger. And a bunch of, like, bones and some blood in there to kind of make it like that. Better run through on the ball. And there's a goal, and she wasn't ready. And Dunlap's smart and takes time and takes it quick. Stole by Courtney Dunlap. Dunlap. Morgan tipped it. Courtney steals it. She's got a 1v1. She goes after it, puts it up, and it's good. Although, not a rough. Rough against the 2 3 zone to Malco. Three left baseline for the Lady Zebras. It's good. And Rochester up 23 21. On sets for the 2 2 pitch. And that's a fly ball into center field going back. The ball gets it up and over to Rowe. Rowe just puts it in for an easy two. about the next five minutes after you score. Stone's taking a chance. The keeper's out. Look at this. Stone scores it from midfield. Quick pitch to Deshaun Heckman. Definitely being a major there runner for the Vikings. And he's just going to show that speed. He's got one man to beat. And that'll be a great touchdown for the Vikings. For South Adams. And that is the game point. Serve goes out of bounds for Neal. Heading into the second, most definitely. Eli for three. He gets it. Hand off to KCO. KCO gets in. It is touchdown. Up with it. She's going to try a three, and she'll get that. They came in and stole the zebra out of the glass case and replaced it with a tiger. And a bunch of, like, bones and some blood in there to kind of make it like that. Better run through on the ball. And there's a goal, and she wasn't ready. And Dunlap's smart and takes time and takes it quick. Wow. 
good defense Stole by, by Courtney Dunlap. Dunlap. Morgan tipped it. Courtney steals it. She's got a 1v1. She goes after it, puts it up, and it's good. Elbow, not a rough. Rough against the 2 3 zone to Malco. Three left baseline for the Lady Zebras. It's good, and Rochester up 23 21. On sets for the 2 2 pitch. And that's a fly ball into center field going back. The ball. Gets it up and over to Rowe. Rowe just puts it in for an easy two. Lady Zebras on the road as they battle the Culver Lady Cavaliers. Hello everyone, I'm David Musselman. The Cavaliers come in with a record of 1-8. and eight. The Rochester Zebras come in with a record of 5-3 and three and coming off a really tough loss on Saturday night at home at the hands uh, to the hands of the uh, uh, Winnemac Lady Warriors. The Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show is next on 92.1 WROI. Cheap furniture. Nice game system. New job, steady girlfriend, wedding, dog that serves as a practice child, little kid, little kids, oh. big kids, big changes. <laughs> so once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself. We need to do is just get back on the floor and worry about us and here we go this is the opportunity to kind of lick our wounds a little bit and forget about the Winnemac game yeah uh, that was a that was a hard hard loss to take but there were some things about that Winnemac game that were not terrible you know the free throw shooting was probably one of our better free throw shooting games even though it come down to that at the wire but you know <laughs> it, it wasn't terrible I mean when you look at you know the things that they did throughout the game, they built a 12 or 13 point lead in the, in the middle of that second quarter. They built a 16 point lead in the third quarter. Unfortunately, it was the 
dismantling of those leads that that created the yeah. drama at the end. But uh, those are things that you know the the, the negative things are, are things that uh, they can work on at practice. They've had a couple of days this week to, to address that. But the positive things are things you want to continue to do every game. Yeah, I agree. And we're going to see which team comes out of the locker room here to start tonight. If you look around the gym. It's got a Saturday morning feel. Uh, no JV game tonight because the Culver's numbers are thin. So we're just going to go right into the varsity game uh, here in about eight or so minutes. So, uh, again, uh, no JV game tonight here at Culver. We'll start with the, uh, the uh, varsity contest here in a few minutes. Lady Zebra head coach Lisa Fluger joins us on the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show. And Lisa, you've had a couple of days off between uh, the Winnemette game and getting ready tonight for Culver. And uh, Tell me... As you walk off the floor uh, Saturday night and, and you come back on the floor Monday and Tuesday, how much, if any, Lisa, was talked about Winnemac? Um, Winnemac was all day on Monday. So um, I tease them. The number of clips they get to see tells you the importance of the game. So there were 63 clips that we went through on Monday. Um, you know, and it wasn't, it wasn't a it, – it was painful for us all to watch. Um, but I'm not going to just say, okay, let's move on. Yeah. So we had to learn from it, and you know we talked about the things that we need to work on, and you know the kids were very open and and to hearing, not feeling you know personally judged or attacked, but you know we just we've got to get better. You know we got to be able to secure when you have have those kinds of leads and not be able to sustain it. So yeah, I was going to say we saw some really really good things on Saturday night, and then we saw some really bad things on Saturday night. We really did, you know, and I, I just told them before we got on the bus here that Saturday night we saw. Some of the best assist plays we've had the whole season because we've been preaching assists versus turnovers, but our assist to turnover ratio is not anything to be proud of. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and we've talked about, man, you make a silly pass or a lazy pass. It used to be blockouts. Now it's about passing, you know, and it, it's handling pressure too. You know, we, we want to shy away. We don't want the ball. Some of us don't want the ball, you know, and, you know, when you're a competitor, you want the ball. Sure. And, and so we're just trying to teach them to want to wanna compete. I guess what concerns me a little bit, and speaking personally because I've got two on the team, before they got to want the ball, they've got to want to be on the floor. And oh there weren't God. very many people wanted to be on the floor. No, it, it, it was a struggle from a coaching perspective. Um, it was a big game. You know, Val said it the other day, and it's so true. It, you know, he asked me, how did that feel like? Did that feel like a tournament game? I said, that felt like a tournament game early. Yeah. Um, you know, it was that intense um, in a good way. I love that kind of stuff. So, you know, and, and Coach Croft and I, you know, really hit it off well being first-year coaches and we're going to help each other. And, you know, and I know that there's a rivalry there, but I want it to always be a good positive rivalry. So so after you get done with film on Monday and go to the court and then the, on the court yesterday, what did we learn from film session? We learned how to take care of the ball. We learned about um, trying to make the easy pass and not the kind of cool pass, if you will, or the harder pass. Um, we learned to, to make an easy pass when we're just simply coming over to the second line, you know, and trying to value that possession and trying to create something instead of trying to make a longer pass when there was no way she could catch it. Um, so you know, that's the kind of stuff with that I think we got to get better at. We, get, we have to value the ball in those tight games, um, whether you're up or down. I mean, we have to value that possession. The next question has no disrespect for, to anyone involved. But as you're coming off of that game, getting ready for the next game, would you rather tonight have a Wabash or have who we have? I mean, Wabash is going to present a little extra difficulties. So would you rather have this game tonight or maybe a little tougher team tonight? Um, I don't care. Okay. I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I have to t say Sunday was a hard day <laughs> for everybody. Um, you know, Saturday night was a really hard night afterwards, and then Sunday was an even harder day. Um, finally, at 10 o'clock on Sunday night, I'm like, okay, I got to do this. You know, I got to watch it. So my thing was, give me about 24 hours, and it was a good, it was a good reprieve. But then by Monday, after doing that, uh, Monday morning, I was just raring to go. You know, and then I, I know I'm the leader, and I know I got to have that. They're going to feed off of me, and you know, I was just, I was ready. It's like, okay, next, next game. You know, let's talk about Winnemac and then let's let go of it. Let's learn from it and let's move on. And whether it was Culver or Wabash or Tippy Valley or whoever, you know, we're just – now we're switching gears. We're getting ready for the next game. Well, it's going to be a, a kind of different dynamic tonight. You're going to walk in here like it's a tournament game. There is no going to be no JV game tonight because of Culver's numbers. Um, you have an opportunity to 
um, perfect a lot of things that maybe you had been working on the last couple of days. Absolutely. And, you know, I told the kids, too, I, I hope to, to see some different rotations. And, you know, I hope to see um, some people being productive off the bench. Um, you know, we, we did that for about three games, and then we get into a tight game, and we weren't able to do that. So we got to get back to that so that our bench can be deeper. Without a JV game, do you dress more? Um, no, I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to stay with the 12. You know, I, I need to get the, the other three in that are, are swingers really from JV. Um, so at least that's my hope, and we focus on them. It's kind of odd. I've never been in this situation <laughs> where you don't have a JV game. You know, I feel bad for our kids, and, you know, I had that quandary, and my apologies to parents, but, you know, I felt like this, we're one team, and I preached that all year long. So I feel like the JV kids need to come, sure. and, you know, if they something came up or they were sick or whatever, that's okay. We had a few that were still sick, but... Um, you know, we're all going to come whether we play or not. You know, and I think that's important. What do you want? What do you want to come out of this game tonight? I, I want to come out of this game feeling a little more positive about our offense. Um, you know, I, I feel pretty good about our defense, and I, I think there's things that we do well. Um, but I'm not real thrilled with some of our offense, even from our starters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your five starters tonight? Uh, we're going to go with the same we've had the last couple games. So we'll have uh, Macy Mo, Karina. Uh, Kennedy and Emma. Okay. Lisa, thanks for your time. Good luck. We'll talk to you after the game. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. Lady Zebra head coach Lisa Fluger back with more of the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show after this on 92.1 WROI. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Welcome back to the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show here on WROI. Lady Cavaliers head coach Tammy Shedro joins us. And Coach, you're one and eight. We're coming into this game tonight with Rochester, and you're a little shy. You're a little short on the bench. You got some kids out sick. You got some kids out injured. Uh, let's talk about the first nine games. Um, taking care of the ball was an issue for us, um, but hopefully we've improved a little bit on that as far as turnovers. Um, however, we always struggle with the press. We're just a young team, mm -hmm. so. But do, are you seeing improvement, practice in, practice out, game in, game out? Oh, absolutely, yeah. There's always some type of improvement. It's just putting four quarters together and sure. having the girls all come together and start playing as a team. So, With being as shorthanded as you are tonight, I guess tell me what does that mean? When you, when you look at your bench with your five on the floor, when you look at your bench, how many are we going to see on the bench? Um, you will see eight on the bench tonight. Well, I mean three on the bench, three, three okay. to four, depending, yeah. So the girls that are out, are they normal varsity players? Uh, well, Alyssa Bailey has a torn ACL, oh. um, but that, she hasn't played all year. Um, that was at the beginning of the year, last soccer game. She went down and tore her ACL. Um, and then Emma Kruger comes back tonight, but is very limited on her playing time due to a head concussion and some mm -hmm. um, an injury as well. So we're going to limit her playing time tonight. Um, we had Shelby Fritz out today. Um, she's been out all week. Um, and then, um, what else have we had? We've had, um, I'm trying to think who else. So most of them are, yeah, we're down to three JV players left, basically, <laughs> is what it comes down to. Three JV players, and so to split quarters, it's not fair to, sure. to make all those girls play five sure. quarters. And then, you know, we're still shy going into the fourth quarter with only four players. So, so, so what do you hope to get out of games like this? Um, Honestly, uh, Rochester's very good. Um, they hit the boards. They're very tall. Um, so rebounding, we hope to work on our rebounding tonight. Um, obviously, our press. We want to work on our press breaker um, just to prepare for our next opponent. Well, the nice thing about tonight is you're going to get all eight of those kids a lot of looks against a pretty good team. Absolutely. And we've been very fortunate all year to get yeah. <laughs> all the girls a lot of playing time. <laughs> so, Tammy, what would you like to see uh, come out of this game? What do you guys have to do tonight to win? Take care of the ball and box out. Okay. And maybe put it in the hole once in a while. <laughs> that would help, obviously. <laughs> okay, Tammy, can you have your five starters, please? Uh, yeah, we have Kinsey Binkley, um, Maddie Shedro, Alex Timmy, Serena Eckright, and Lily Hayes. Okay. Tammy, thanks for your time. Good luck to you tonight. Good luck to you the rest thanks. of the year. Thank you. Lady Cavalier Head Coach Tammy Shedro back with more of the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance pregame show after this on 92.1 WROI.
And now, what's going to be for our starting lineups? First, a couple of visitors on the scoreboard in Rochester Zero. Number 12, Mix Brown. Back at Culver Community High School, time now for the starters. First for the Culver Lady Cavs with a record of one and eight. At one guard will be a 5'3 sophomore, Kenzie Binkley. A second guard will be a 5'3 sophomore, Corinna Eckwright. The third guard will be a 5'5 freshman, Madison Shedrow. At one forward, a 5'8 sophomore, Lily Hayes. And the other forward, a 5'8 senior, Alex Timmy. Culver coached by Tammy Shedrow. For the Rochester Lady Zebras, with a record of 5-3, and three, a one guard will be a 5'7 sophomore, Macy Brown. The second guard, a 5'6 senior, Morgan Ruff. The third guard, a 5'7 junior, Karina Peterson. At one forward, a 6'2 senior, Kennedy Musselman. And the other forward, a 6-foot senior, Emma Dahlquist. Rochester coached by Lisa Pfluger. Well, one thing you notice right away, Brad, when you look at the roster, Culver has a ton of 9s, a ton of 10s. Very few 11s and no 12s. Yeah, you're right. They've just got the one junior on the team, no seniors, uh, predominantly all sophomores. So, again, uh, and not a lot of size. I mean, they've got uh, 5'10 as the largest or the tallest girl they've got on the team. Everybody else is about the 5'3", five, 5'5 five, five range. So, again, Rochester with the advantages in numbers and size and experience. Yeah. The Rochester Lady Zebras and the Road Grays, the Culver Lady Cavaliers and their home whites. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Dahlquist, and I believe that is Hayes to jump center for their respective squads. Rochester will go to our left. Dahlquist ready. Officiating, officials having a hard time hanging on to the ball already. <laughs> Should be a good night. Ball is up and the tip controlled by Culver. Timmy, high on the right side for the Lady Cavs. Now gives top of the key to Binkley. Rochester man, the man to start. Now Binkley in the right wing. Top to Hayes, swings high on the left side. Now in the corner to Eckright. Eckright around Macy Brown. Gives to Binkley, who works against Peterson. High on the right side to Shedro. The pass inside is taken away by Musselman. Ahead to Morgan Ruff, to Macy Brown, and she travels. Well, it was a good idea. They got the ball kicked out front in a hurry to lead the fast break. Just couldn't handle the, the, the dribble off the pass. Rochester to full court press, and the Cavs break the press. Hayes with the basketball right side. Stops, kicks it back outside to Binkley. Now top of the key to Timmy. Her three on the way is off the back of the rim. No good. Ball being tipped around, and Culver comes out of it with it. Shedro with the basketball, and will set up the uh, play for the Lady Cavs. Shedro near side to Binkley, high on the right side, one dribble to her right, now back to her left to Hayes. High on the left side to Timmy. Now in the corner to, Al Al to Eckright. Eckright holds against Macy Brown around the defense to Binkley. Binkley slings it to the right side to Shedro. Shedro, a couple of dribbles to her left, works against Moe. No score early, early on at Culver. Less than a minute, or more than a minute gone, I should say, in the first quarter. Again, no score. Ruff kicks that one out of bounds. So it'll stay with Culver right in front of the Rochester bench going to our right. Eckright will look to trigger it in. Over the top of the defense, ball stolen away by Ruff. Ruff on the baseline, gives to a cutting Macy Brown, right-handed layup. She Actually, we're going to lose the basketball out of bounds. It'll go back to the Cavaliers after the second turnover on the Lady Zebras. So Rochester in a full-court press, 1-2-2. Two, two. Binkley gets it in to Timms, and Timmy is going to be fouled by Dahlquist, 75 feet away from the basket, and he'll stay with Culver with a 6.48 to play in the first quarter. You know, we're kind of sitting here waiting for this game to get started, and I'm having a hard time finding enough energy here to get going, and if I'm finding a, a hard <laughs> yeah. to find any energy, the how players. about the kids on the floor? Yeah, you're right. Rochester, uh, make that culver, breaks the press. Hayes, a set shot from the right baseline, no good. Dahlquist, a great block out, grabs the board and gives off to Ruff. Mo, middle of the floor, runs at the free throw line, hesitates, kicks it out to Macy Brown on the left wing. Macy with the basketball, now to Ruff on the left wing. Mo brings the top of the key against the 2-3 zone back to Macy Brown through her hands and out of bounds on the, for the third consecutive turnover by the Lady Zebras and Megan Nile will come in for Rochester. And Megan will replace Macy Brown in the Rochester lineup. 6.26 to play in the first quarter. No score here at Culver. It'll be Lady Cavs basketball going to our right. Well, the turnovers were what cost the Lady Zebras yeah, against right. Winnemac and it's not helping them here tonight either. Culver breaks the press. Hayes on the right wing, backs it out in front of the Rochester bench. Now to Shedro, drives it right against Morgan Ruff. 
Pulls it back out to the volleyball line, and now we're going to have a blocking foul in rough, and that'll be Rochester's second team foul with 6-12 to play in the first quarter. Still no score. Timmy will look to get it in. In front of the Rochester bench. Timmy gets it in to Shedro. Shedro against Ruff. Takes it to the right. Now the right elbow. Loses the handle. Ball loose on the floor. Nile picks it up. Megan, right side of the floor for Rochester. Now we'll slow up and wait for the rest of the clan to join. Musselman hands off to Ruff. Now to Nile, right wing. Thought about a three. Passes it up. Now to Moore. And Rochester's got all day to shoot threes if they want to. Ruff, nobody within seven, eight feet of her. Nobody was within six or eight feet of Nile. Musselman right side of the floor over the top of the defense. Ruff through her hands and out of bounds. Rochester may need some stick em. They're having a heck of a time hanging on to the basketball. Wow. Four possessions and four turnovers. Yep. Well, that sounds familiar, like the second half last uh, week. Yeah. Start of the second half. Hayes will go against the Musselman, goes to the rack, going to be fouled on the shot. And she'll go to the line to shoot two as Kennedy's picked up foul number one. So Hayes will go to the line. This 5'8 sophomore to the line to shoot two for the Lady Cavs. 5.38 to play in the first quarter. Still yet to score. No score here yet at Culver High School. Hayes eyes the first one, lets it fly, and it's good. One more coming for the sophomore. Rochester has three team fouls. Hayes, the right-handed free throw shooter, eyes the second one. And lets her fly, and it's no good. Musselman at the rebound. Kennedy hands off to Mo. Ruff jogs through the center circle, going to our left. Cavs up 1-0. Culver in a 2-3 zone. High on the right side to Nile. Back to Ruff between the rings. Mo left side to Peterson, down the corner to Dahlquist. Emma back to Karina. Now to Mo, top of the key. We may need High a, on the right side to Nile. We may need a three-pointer just to break Absolutely. that zone up. Musselman fighting four down low. Dahlquist kicks it out to Peterson. Around the horn to Ruff. Ruff in the middle of the floor. Three minutes gone in the first quarter. Culver leads 1-0. Mo three straight away for the Lady Zebras is short. The rebound to Culver. Hayes has it now to Shedro. Shedro runs for the Lady Cavs up 1-0. 4.50 to play in the first quarter. Mo's going to be careful. She's got yeah. a foul already. Hayes in the corner. One dribble outside to Shedro. She sets up the uh, offense high on the left side. Near the timeline. Drives it right. Mo picks her pocket. She picks up the loose basketball. Now left side to Eckright. Her shot is good, and the Cavs lead three to nothing. Rochester was a little slow on their feet to start of this basketball game. 420 to play in the first quarter. Rochester trails here at Culver Community, 3-0. Dahlquist almost has her pass stolen. Ruff has it down little Musselman. Kennedy rises up, puts it in for two and fouled. So she'll go to the line for one to try to tie this one at three with 4.13 to play in the first quarter. Foul's coming against Timmy, her first. So Sierra Weathers comes into the game for the first time, and Karina Peterson will sit down. Culver up 3-2. Musselman at the line to shoot one for the Lady Z's, looking to tie this one to three. Kennedy's first free throw is no good. Rebound fault four is going to be knocked out of bounds by Culver. It'll stay with the Lady Zebras baseline right. Weathers now will look to trigger it in underneath their own basket. Baseline right. 3-2 Culver, 4-12 to play in the first quarter. Weathers looking. Gives it to Mo. Right wing three for the Lady Zebras is short. Rebound fault four. Musselman comes out of there with it. Now we're going to have a tie up. And Rochester should have possession. Yep, they do. Weathers baseline right will look to get it in. Culver's, Culver up one nothing or by one, three to two. Nile gets the inbounds pass from Weathers. Nile around the horn to Mo three right wing for the Lady Zebras. Good. And now Rochester up now, five, five to three. A five point possession for Rochester. Culver just threw the ball in bounds. Shedro then took the ball out of bounds and triggered it inbounds, and the officials <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Huh? Timmy, top of the key, in the right corner to Shedro. Shedro drives the baseline against Ruff, cut off by the good defense. Now kicks it back outside to Eckright, and she double dribbles, no call. How many times have we seen a double dribble called on that this year already? 
Timmy to the basket. She travels. I'm going to call that one. Morgan Ruff's going to have to be careful because everybody on that Culver team is pushing, pushing the ball through her to the basket. That's probably a good job by the official up top. He was going to he whistled at a, 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 a travel. The official down the baseline was going to whistle it a foul. Oh. 325 to play first quarter. Rochester up 5-3. High on the left side to Weathers. Weathers now to Ruff. Back to Weathers. High on the left side. In the corner to Nile. Back to Weathers. Right side to Ruff. Shoot that. Yeah, there's no pressure out front at all from Culver. Nile, couple of dribbles. Back to Ruff. Three ball, right wing off the back of the iron. No good. And the defensive rebound to Shedro. Shedro drives it right, high on the right side to Binkley, works against Weathers. Now high on the left side to Timmy, now to Eckright. Eckright around the pick, goes to the free throw line in the paint, kicks it back outside to Shedro, 18-footer right, wing is good, and we're tied at five. Fire tied at five. Rochester the basketball going to our left. Weathers high on the left side, two and a half to play in the first quarter. Mo between the rings behind the arc, drives it to the left elbow, switches directions. Now with the top to Megan Nile. She'll fire a three, it's hey, short, sure. and the rebound fought for it. And shed right for Culver comes out of there with it. 2.15 to play in the first quarter with tied to five. Through the center circle is shed row. High on the right side to Binkley. Now in the middle to, to Hayes. Outside left to Eckright. Eck right against Megan Nile. One dribble to her left. Gives to Binkley, who drives her to the right side. Nice defense by Weathers. Backs it out to the center circle, does, Eck, or does Binkley, and hands off to Shedro. Down to a minute 45 to play in the first quarter. We're tied at five. Lady Cavs with the basketball going to our right. Ooh. Shedro picks up her dribble. High on the left side to Hayes. Now to Eck right. Eck right, top to Timmy. Main to man defense by the Lady Zebras. Timmy. Nice help side defense by the Lady Zebras to Ekro, uh, make that to Shedro. She travels, no call. Now to Hayes, back to Shedro. Down to a minute 25 to play in the first quarter. Eckright has her pass knocked away, but right to the hands of the Lady Cavs. The, the shot is no good. The offensive rebound of the Lady Cavs kicks it out to Hayes. Her three, no good. Good block out by Weathers, and I believe Shedro is going to climb the back of Sierra Weathers. It'll go back to Rochester with 71 seconds to play in the first quarter. That is on Shedro, her first team second. Jenny Isbell comes in for the first time for Rochester. Macy Brown comes back. And, and coming out is Musselman and Nile. Sorry. And McKee came in as well. Oh, she did. Okay. Yes. And Weathers came out, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Minute five, Mo between the rings. High on the left side to Isbell. Jenny one dribble her right, back to Mo. Wide open three, right wing. Good! Mo has six of the eight. And Rochester up 8-5 with 52 seconds to play in the first quarter. Culver's been giving that three-point shot up the entire ball game. All you got to do is shoot it. Shedro in the paint, works against Mo, kicks it outside to Binkley, and she travels. 42.7 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 8-5. It'll be Lady Zebra basketball going to our left. It'll be nice to see if we can get one shot here. Working for one <laughs> shot. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Culver will stay in that 2-3 zone. Bounce pass in the corner to Isbell. Back to rough left wing. Mo holds high on the right side to Brown. Now to McKee. Dumps it inside to Dahlquist. Emma rises up. Shot too hard. Rebound fall for Culver. Comes out of there with it. 22 seconds. And Binkley loses the basketball out of bounds. Going back to Rochester. 21.3 to play in the first quarter. Rochester by three. And Ruff will bring it up the floor. Moe will cross through the center circle. Clock rolls. Crosses the timeline with 15. Stands in the center circle and dribbles with 13. Drifts to her right with 11. Man-to-man -man defense now. As actually that 2-3 zone probably extended out to the volleyball line. Macy Brown with three with five. Nope. Offensive rebound bound by Moe. Her shot no good. Dahlquist has it with one. Moe, the shot at the buzzer. And it's going to be uh, waved off. After one, Rochester leads 8-5. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. 
All it takes is a $50 opening deposit, there's no minimum balance requirement, and no service fees. For a limited time, you'll also receive a free gift just for opening a checking account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. First apartment, dog named Bella, boyfriend, TJ, with the sweet ride and the bad secrets. Exit TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. And the Lady Zebras will stay in a man-to-man -man defense. Also into the game for the first time is Emma Kruger. Coming off a concussion, she's a 5'9 sophomore for Lady Cavs. It's Rochester in a one. Yeah, man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Ball just about picked off. Timmy has it against Isbell. Drives it left to the left elbow. Pulls it back outside to Shedro. Shedro looks in the corner to Kruger, then backs it out. Outside the volleyball line, now in the center circle. 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. Rochester by three. High on the left side of Binkley. Binkley holds against Brown. Double dribbles, and it's going to go to Rochester. Well, that's the seventh turnover on the Lady Cavs. Rochester going to get it back up by three. Culver will stay in that 2-3 zone, and, the, and, and most the, of them packed around Kennedy. I was going to say, the top of that zone is clear back below the free throw line, so the three-point shots are open. And now we're going to have a three-second call on McKee, and it's going to go back to the Cavaliers after another Rochester turnover. That's five on Rochester. Say we can't be too far away from seven. Yeah. 7-13 to play in the first half. 8-5, Rochester. Uh, McConaughey has Northwestern tonight. Yeah, that won't be pretty. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know uh, what their AD was thinking when he put their schedule together. <laughs> But when you have a two-week period of Rochester, Valley, Northfield, Northwestern, and Oak Hill all in a period of two weeks, <laughs> that's brutal. You're not kidding. Cavs with the basketball. Binkley high on the left side. Now in the corner to Kruger. One dribble to her left. Now quickly to Timmy, top of the key. Back to Binkley. Drives the left baseline. Throws up a shot over McKee, and it's good. 8-7. Rochester by one, six and a half to play first half. Moe with the basketball. Then Brown on the left side. Back to Moe. Swings it right side to Isbell. Jenny holds. Looks in the corner to McKee. Culver cuts off the passing lane. Macy Brown, 18-footer left side. Off the back of the rim, no good. And the rebound to Moe. We're going to actually have a tie-up. It's going to stay with Rochester. Give her a rebound. Good effort by Morgan. Rochester being just kind of flat-footed and, and heavy-footed throughout this, football, yeah. or this basketball game. 6.20 to play, first half, 8-7 Culver. Macy Brown looks to trigger it in baseline right. Macy looks, studies, gives it into Isbell. 18-footer on the way is off the mark, no good. Another defensive rebound for the Cavs. Shedro walks it up for Culver, sends high to the right side to Binkley. Two minutes gone in the second quarter. Binkley drives to the baseline, cut off. Outside to Walters, who's in the game for the first time. To Timmy. The pass is tipped. Culver has the loose ball. Now to Binkley. And now we're going to have a legal screen coming against Timmy. Nope, against Hayes as Moe hit the deck hard twice. Yeah, that was her first team third. Yeah, two hard moving screens on Ruff. The first one she was a little slow getting up from. So Rochester with it up by one. 5.50 to play in the first half. Mo drives it left, goes to the basket, throws up a shot, foul on the shot by Hayes, and that's going to send Mo to the line for two. Hayes picks up her second. Emma Dahlquist will come back into the game after the first free throw. Also, Eckwright will come in for the Cavs. Morgan Ruff, who had a nice night at the line on Saturday, yeah. back there for two here. Seven of ten. Yeah, good for her. She made as many as Winamac did. Yeah. 
Free throw is no good by Mo. She'll have one more. Dawk was back in. McKee comes out. Kruger comes back in for the Cavs, and Walters comes out. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Rochester's entire team traveled, unfortunately not able to play a JV game tonight, but it's good to see the JV across the way sitting on the bench. For a second one is good this time by Mo, and they're up by two now are the Lady Zebras. And Ruff has as many as Culver to seven. 9-7, Rochester, 5.35 to play in the first half. Binkley loses the handle, ball loose. Going to be tied up, just going to stay with the Cavs. Culver basketball out of bounds right in front of the Rochester bench as Binkley will look to trigger, trigger it in. IU might have a fuzz of trouble tonight. Oh, Duke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> and Rochester forces another Culver turnover. Dahlquist and Ruff on the defense. Yep. Had her trapped over there yep. on the sideline. Rochester with the ball. If you can hear that interference, we apologize. Musselman now to Mo. Left wing, back to Musselman, top of the key. Three on the way is going to be short. And the rebound to Kruger, to Shedro. No, uh, Dahlquist picks Shedro up right at the timeline. Gives to Timmy. Timmy around the defense. Gives him the corner to Binkley. Feeds down low to Kruger. Backs her way in, throws up a shot. It's good. And we're tied at nine. Working against Macy Brown down low. It's kind of a mismatch. Mo hesitates, right elbow out to Macy, back to Mo, right wing. Thought about a three, pass it up. Now to Brown, behind the arc on the right side. Musselman, back to Mo. Musselman being double teamed. Isbell, 15 footer is no good. Macy Brown's put back is good. <laughs> Rochester back up 11 to 9. Four and a half to play in the first half. Shedro against Dahlquist at the Rochester volleyball line. And now we're going to have a 30-second timeout taken by the Lady Cavs. You're listening to Rochester Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Back at Culver Community High School after the Cavs timeout. They've got the basketball going the all right. Down by two. And then Morgan Ruff steals the pass. Mo, right side of the floor. Goes to the basket. Pushes off. No call. Ball loose. Picked up by Dahlquist. She puts it in for two. Great job by Dahlquist to get down the floor and not give up on the play. Lady Zebra's biggest lead of the night of four. 13-9. And then Musselman steals the pass. Now to Macy Brown, who gives off to Ruff. Mo, middle of the floor, lob pass down low to Musselman. Kennedy rises up, puts it in for two. And now it's 15-9. Maybe a little momentum here for the Lady Zebras. Defense, creating offense. Ball's almost stolen again, and now is, but we're going to have a foul on Mo. That'll be her second. And that's going to oh, send I'm Coach sorry, uh, Fluger to the bench and send in Peter, uh, yeah, Karina Peterson. If anybody sees the uh, Northwestern Mechanical girls score, I'll take that, please. So Walters back in, also back in, I believe is Hayes, yes. Kruger and Binkley comes out. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman, 3.43 to play in the first half. Rochester by six, Cavs basketball. Timmy gives off to Shedro. She crossed the timeline against a really good defense by Megan, uh, make that uh, Emma Dahlquist, and then Shedro throws it between the legs of Kruger and out of bounds, Rochester going to get it back. Karina Peterson came up on the blind side trying to set up a trap with Dahlquist and uh, Shedro threw it out of bounds yep. trying to get rid of it. Peterson runs the point, now to Isbell, top of the key to Musselman. Kennedy, left wing three, good! 18-9. Uh, Musselman now with seven. Rochester by nine with 3.15 to play in the first half. Shedro over the top to Timmy in the paint, outside to Eckright, her shot all high off the glass goes in. And Rochester's leads down to seven to three minutes to play in the first half. 
Peterson, top of the key, works right side to Brown. Macy with the basketball. Back to Peterson, sends left side to Dahlquist. She drives it left to the elbow extended, backs away in the paint, kicks it out to Peterson. Jumper from the free throw line off the glass, no good. And the rebound to Culver, and we're going to have a foul by on Dahlquist. Emma Dahlquist. We're coming over the back of the Cavs. It'll go back to the Cavaliers. Coach Fluger going to go to the bench, and she's going to bring in McKee. That'll be Dahlquist, the second. 2.48 to play in the first half. Rochester up 18 to 11. So Megan Nile comes in. Thank you. One original, nah, I beg your pardon, two original starters. Three, yeah. that is, on the floor for the Rochester. Three starters. Shedro, just a freshman with the basketball. Loses it through her hands, picks up a loose ball high on the left side. Just about stepped on the 10-second line, but was still inside of it. Timmy to Shedro. Drives it right, throws up a shot at the elbow, off the glass, no good. Macy Brown grabs the board and runs. Macy, right side of the floor for the Lady Zebras. Macy will go coast to coast. Throw, she'll throw up a shot. It is good. Macy's got four. And it's 20 to 11. Nice recognition for Macy Brown. It was yeah. either take it or throw it away. Well, she pulled it off the board and took it the distance. Timmy has her pass to, uh, ball stolen away from behind. Right into the hands of Isbell. Now gives to Macy Brown. Macy pushes to the Lady Zebras up by nine. Macy middle of the floor. High on the right side to Peterson. Peterson has her pass kicked away uh, by the defense. It'll stay with Rochester baseline right. Musselman is triple teamed, and Peterson dribbled into the defense and tried to slip a pass down low. Right. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> so baseline right. Macy Brown jumper. Nope. Rebound. To Culver. Shedro brings it up the floor. Across the timeline to Binkley. High on the right side. A minute 45 to play in the first half. Shedro's three straight away is good. This girl is going to be pretty good when she yeah. is a junior or senior. Junior and senior. That's the first three for Culver. Ryan Culver cuts the lead to six. A minute 35 to play in the first half. Peterson around the pick. Out to Musselman. Three straight away for the Lady Zebras. No good. Rebound to Culver, and we're going to have a foul on Isbell for coming over the back. That'll be her first. Team six. Not sure where that form came from, but it's nothing that we worked on. <laughs> Culver with the basketball. Timmy will run the point high on the left side to Pearl, who's newly in the basketball game for the Cavs. Wrap around pass to Timmy against Peterson. Works to the left wing. Now at the left elbow. Outside to Pearl. Pearl against Peterson. She's going to have to go towards the basket. She does. Stops the count. Binkley. Long two-point shot. No good. And Isbell fighting for the rebound. We're going to have a tie-up. And it is if, going to go to Rochester. If Isabel blocks out, she goes to the free throw yep. line. Weathers into the game, and Isbell sits down. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 60 seconds of play in the first half. Rochester by six at 20 to 14. Peterson drifts to the right wing. Behind the arc about 10 feet against the man-to-man -man defense. Basie Brown back to Peterson. Now pulls it back behind the arc to Brown. Swings it to Nile. Back to Macy, top of the key. To Peterson, 40 seconds. Backs it out. Gives it to Macy Brown high on the right side with 37. Back to Peterson, drives the right baseline, throws up a shot, foul on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. 32.9 to play in the first half. And Karina Peterson at the line to shoot two. Rochester up by six at 20 to 14. Those fouls on Eckright, her first, team fifth. So Peterson fires the first one. It's good. She'll have one more. Kruger and Shedro back into the game for the Cavs. Hayes and Pearl to come out. 32.9 uh, to play in the first half. Peterson with one more, looking to stretch this lead back to eight. Short, defensive rebound to Shedro. Gives ahead to Binkley. Binkley runs a 26 all the way to the baseline. Pass is taken away, gotten back. Kicks it out to Shedro, three, no good. Muscle into the rebound, and now we're going to have a foul on Kruger for coming over her back. And with 19.7 to play in the first half, it'll be Rochester basketball by seven going to our left. And the length of the floor. Three, 
Peterson to run. Peterson on the jog, crosses the timeline with 14. Works to the right wing with 13. Gives to Brown with 12. Macy back to Peterson with 9. Now to Nile with 8. Gives back to Brown with 6. Long 3, right wing is in and out, no good. Rebound fault 4. Nile comes out of there with 3. Now to Brown with 2. The 3 on the way. Left wing is good at the buzzer. At halftime, Rochester leads by 10, 24-14. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our experienced mortgage lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is the place to shop for all of your furniture needs. Sofas, recliners, love seats, dining sets, bedroom sets, mattresses, outdoor furniture, and more. All in your hometown. Stop out and see Don, Mary Kay, Linda, or Joe. They want to help you find the exact pieces to fit your needs. Shop online at townhomefurnishings.com. Cheap furniture, nice game system. New job, steady girlfriend, wedding, dog that serves as a practice child, little kid, little kids, oh. big kids, big changes. <laughs> so once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is a $50 opening deposit, there's no minimum balance requirement, and no service fees. For a limited time, you'll also receive a free gift just for opening a checking account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Two from the free throw line. They had 12 turnovers in that first half for Rochester. Peterson with one, Dahlquist with two, Musselman with seven, Ruff with seven, and Macy Brown with seven. 
The Lady Zebras two of five from the free throw line in the first it, half, and they had five turnovers. It, it's good to see Macy mm -hmm. grabbing a little of that confidence, maybe a little bit, finding her shot. Yeah. You know, she missed that first three with about four seconds to play. N uh, Niall got the, the, the rebound, give it right back to her, and she didn't even hesitate. She went right back up and nailed it at the buzzer. Yeah, yeah. She had seven, all seven of her points in that second quarter. Ruff with two fouls, Dahlquist with two fouls. Both of them uh, were on the bench for the better half of that uh, second quarter. So McKee and uh, Brown getting some playing time there in the second quarter along with Isbell. Uh, you know, Rochester going to have to continue to do the things that they did in the second quarter. That first quarter was a little rough to get started. Um, yeah. A lot of turnovers. I think all five of those turnovers were in the first quarter. You know, I like that Morgan would come down and just shoot the ball. Yeah. I mean, well, when, when you, but you said it. When they're packed in that 2-3 zone and the, the, the bottom three is underneath the volleyball line and the top two are on the volleyball line, yeah. just shoot it. Yeah. We're going to have to free that 2-3 uh, zone up a little bit. Yeah, Musselman being double teamed the entire – uh, the entire ball game here so far, and uh, the fact that she's got seven is <laughs> just a testament to their ability to get the ball thrown in over the top. Um, yeah, the three has been open all night. Uh, it wasn't until the better second half of that uh, second quarter that uh, the Lady Cavaliers started to bring that zone out a little bit and apply a little pressure on the basketball. But uh, Ruff and Brown had wide open looks the entire first half from three point range. The count here at the break, Rochester by 10 at 24-14. We'll take a break, come back with the third quarter after this on 92.1 WROI. First apartment, dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ, with the sweet ride and the bad secrets. Exit, TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Going to the third quarter here momentarily. Rochester up by 10. You know, I was just thinking a little bit in that break, Brad, that uh -huh. Coach Shedro probably was in the locker room doing a Mexican hat dance. I mean, she had she and her girls had a great first half. Yeah, they've been and, playing well. And the other thing, the other message is probably going to be, hey, we got all one of their six-footers in foul trouble. We got their main guard in foul trouble. Yep. Let, let's 
let's find a little one-two here and let's take it at him here in the third quarter. Right, and I, I think it was the the full court and the and the half court traps that Rochester put on there in the middle of that second quarter that sparked their offensive run, Rochester's offensive run there at the end of the second half quarter. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised, like you said, that uh, Culver's going to come out. They're going to they're going to continue to double and triple team Kennedy down low because that's been working yep. and it's been effective. But I think they're going to pull those front two girls on that 2-3 zone out a little further, put more pressure on the basketball outside because we've knocked down a few of those threes. And the last thing you want is rough and brown uh, confidence going up with those threes being wide open. So we're going to the third quarter with the Lady Cavs with the basketball going to our left, the original starters for Rochester. Dahlquist, Ruff, Peterson, Brown, and Musselman. The original five for Culver, Eckwright, Shedro, Timmy, uh, Binkley, and also Hayes. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Shedro will run the point, the freshman against Ruff. High on the right side to Binkley. Binkley against Peterson. Takes it to her left, cut off. Now in the center circle to Hayes. Things high on the left side to Timmy. Now in the corner to Shedro. Make that to Eckwright. Now to Shedro right wing. Shedro has her ball tipped away and stolen by Mo. Mo, Mo ahead to Brown. Macy, left-handed layup is no good. And the rebound to the defense. Shedro high on the right side to Binkley who works against Peterson. Takes her left. Now to Hayes between the rings. High on the left side to Timms in the corner to Eckwright. Eckwright against Macy Brown. One dribble to her right. Gets around the defense to Binkley. Around the defense to the right elbow. Baseline jumper for Hayes is no good. Rebound fault for Dahlquist comes out of the with it and travels. Well, that's one thing Culver's been doing really well here in this basketball game, and that's blocking out and trying to limit the number of shots that Rochester gets and also extend their own possessions. Yeah. Minute gone in the first, uh, third quarter, I should say. And Rochester by 10 at 24 to 14. Shedro high on the left side to Timmy, and she takes her eyes off the ball, threw her hands out of bounds, go back to the Lady Zebras. It's 14 turnovers now against the Lady Cavaliers. You know, what we should have been keeping track of was how many points coming off of those turnovers. Yeah. Ruff gets a double screen at the top of the key. Works to the right wing. Down the corner to Brown. Back to Moe. Three right wing for the Lady Zebras is good. It's the third three-pointer for Ruff tonight. Moe's got 10, and it's 27 to 14. Shedro high on the left side to Timmy. One dribble to her left. She travels, no call. In the corner to Eckright. Eckright against Dahlquist. Uh, make that to, uh, against Brown. Over the top. To Hayes. Hayes against Musselman. Takes her to the basket. Cut off on the baseline by the double team. And the ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. The pass is by Peterson. It'll stay with Culver on the far side. 6.15 to play. Third quarter. Rochester up 27-14. Culver basketball out of bounds. Baseline. Uh, make that sideline right. Hayes with the basketball. Up top to Binkley. Drives it left hard in the paint. And she's going to be fouled on the reach in by Peterson. It'll be out of bounds on the baseline to the Lady Cavs on the right side. So first on Peterson, team first of the half. 6-12 to play in the third. Rochester by 13. Shedro baseline right for the Lady Cavs. Studies. Bounce pass in to Binkley. Drives it left, left hard or left hand to Hayes. Outside to Tim. Timmy. Around the defense. Pull up 15 footer. No good. Peterson to the rebound. Karina clears to Mo. Rochester runs to Macy Brown. Macy right wing, back to Ruff. And now we're going to have a travel. Rochester another turnover and gives it back to the Cavs. Rochester by 13 with 540 to play. Make that 550 to play in the third quarter. Our next broadcast will be Friday night as the Rochester guys will be back in action and battling the Winnemac Warriors. That should be a good game. Yeah, it will be. You'll be there, right? Yep. Bankley. Teardrop shot, no good. And the ball is going to come down to Moe. Morgan with the rebound. Pushes middle of the floor for Rochester. Morgan, left, left side of the floor. Jump pass down low to Dahlquist. Rises up, misses it. Kennedy with the rebound. And we're going to have a tie-up, and it's going to go to Rochester, I believe. And it's going to stay with Rochester baseline right as Sierra Weathers comes back into the game. 
Musselman, Musselman battling four defenders on that rebound. Yeah. Kruger back in for the Cavs. Macy Brown baseline right will look to get it in. Macy studies. Lobs it into Dahlquist. Emma takes it left in the paint. Jumper on the way is short. The rebound to Culver. Hayes gets it to Sher uh, Shedrow. 5-10 to play. Third quarter. Rochester by 13. Shedrow high on the left side. Bounce pass to Eckright. Gets a screen. Goes around the screen with the elbow. Her jumper from the free throw line is no good. Dahlquist another board. Emma gives off to Moe. Rochester runs. Moe ahead to Macy Brown on the right wing. Macy on the wing. Kennedy get out of the lane. Out to Moe. Three ball right side. Good again. Morgan with four three-pointers, and Rochester as a team has six. 30-14, to 14, Rochester with 4.40 to play in the third quarter. Shedro high on the right side to Binkley against Weathers. An illegal screen, no call outside to Shedro on the left wing. Shedro around the pick. Swings cross court to Eckright. Her pass is going to be deflected and picked up by Brown. Macy around the defense to Mo. Rochester left side of the floor. Rough. Now we'll pull it out, wait for the rest of it to get down the floor. Feeds inside to Dahlquist. Her jumper no good. Weathers put back on the way, is partially blocked. And the rebound to Kruger. She's going to travel. And it's going to stay with Rochester. I was about ready to lose my mind because the official was going to whistle <laughs> at a jump ball and then changed it to a travel. Travel, yeah. Back into the game is Megan Nile and Brown to sit down. 4-14 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by 16 at 30-14. to Nile studies. Megan gets it into Mo. Three, right wing for the Lady Zebras is short. Musselman tips her ball around, and Culver comes out of there with it. The shot is no good. The putback is good and a foul. Walters will go to the line to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way, or try to anyway. And they're going to whistle the foul against Emma Dahlquist. That's her third. And McKee will come in for her. So Dahlquist comes out, McKee back in, and Walters at the line for Culver for one freebie. 30 to 16. Rochester, and Sarah Walters, a 5'10 sophomore at the line for one. She lets her fly, and it's no good. And an offensive rebound. Actually, the ball being tipped around. Culver does come out of there with it. Timmy, outside of Shur Shedrow. Her three is short. And the ball is tipped out of bounds by the Cavs. It'll go back to Rochester. With 5.53 to play in the third. Culver has gotten a lot of hands on offensive boards. Yeah, they've done a good job of getting themselves extra possessions and, and limiting Rochester's at the other yeah. end of the floor. Rough, high left side to Musselman, now to Weathers. Weathers back to Moe in the middle of the floor. Ruff works to the right wing. Now to Sierra Weathers, left side, back to Ruff on the right wing. And they're starting to put pressure on the ball outside now. Niles jumper for, with her feet on the line goes down. They, get, they said three. Oh, they did? Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. A three-pointer for Weathers. Uh, make that for Nile. It's 33 to 16. Chedro high to Timmy. Drives to the left baseline. Cut off by Nile. Out to Walters. Now high on the right side to Binkley. Binkley at the free throw line to Hayes. She travels no call. She goes to the basket. She's going to be found on the shot because somebody swatting. Kennedy's going to pick up foul number two. Jeez, come on. <laughs> so tired of seeing that swat. Five inches taller than anybody on the floor. She thinks it's a volleyball game. <laughs> so at the free throw line is Hayes. Free throw on the way is no good. She'll have one more. 33 to 16. Eckright coming back into the game and coming out is Shed Rowe. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Hayes with one more. In Rochester up 33 to 16. Hayes eyes the second one. The five foot eight sophomore lets it fly. And this was good. 33-17. Three minutes to play in the third. Mo through the center circle. Culver still in that 2-3 zone. Why not? It's been working really well for you tonight. Yeah, Rochester's starting to dial in the threes, though. They've got seven as a team. Yep. Uh, yep. 
Mo with it, backs it out, resets for Rochester, swings to the left side to Weathers. Sierra, a couple of dribbles, back to Mo. Mo gets a pick from Musselman. On the pick and roll, passes it up. Mo top of the key, works it left, jump pass to McKee on the pick and roll. Her jumper off the glass, no good. Musselman put back is on the way and good. Nice soft hands that time for Kennedy. She put it back and puts uh, Rochester up by 18. High on the right side to Binkley. Binkley bounce pass to Hayes, swings near side to Eckright. Eckright around Weathers to Hayes. She travels. I think Eckright gets away with a forearm shimmy to the yeah. throat about every time she gets the ball. Yeah, she does. She leads with that elbow when she dribbles. Shedrow comes back into the game for the Cavs. 2.14 to play. 35 to 17. Mo with the basketball. 2-3 zone by the Cavs. Mo drifts to the right wing. Now in the right corner to Nile. Megan holds. Drives the baseline now. Has her pass knocked out of bounds. Off her hands. And Culver going to get it back. Two minutes to play in the third. Rochester up 35 to 17. Roger Culver's with three points this quarter. Yep. Free throw and a, and a field goal. Eck right. Middle of the floor to Timmy and has her pass tipped out of bounds by Weathers, who anticipated that pass and knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with Culver on the far sideline. Eck right to get it in. Gets it into Shedro. Walks it through the center circle with 100 seconds to play in the third. Rochester up 35 to 17. Timmy kicks it out to Eckright. Now to Shedro. She gets a screen. The nice help defense by McKee. He gives to Hayes. Over the top to Timmy. Jumper from the free throw line off the window. No good. And the rebound to Weathers. And Shedro is going to pick up the foul. Yeah, good block out. The, yeah. I say good block out by Weathers. First team foul in the Cavs just have with a minute 25 to play in the third. Shedro will pick up her second. Isbell in. Weathers out. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Again, our next broadcast will be Friday night as the guys back in action to battle the uh, Winnemac Warriors at home. 120 to play here in the third. Rochester up by 18. Mo backs it out behind the arc to Isbell. To Mo behind the arc. Now to Nile. Back to Ruff. Three straight away. No good. Rebound fought for. Ball being tipped around. Culver come out of there with it. And then Eckright loses it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester the minute four. And now Rochester will take a timeout. It's a 30. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. At First Federal Savings Bank, we can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide some spending cash for you with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows borrowers to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Wait, okay. Going to a lot of those, aren't right. they? Musselman against a triple team is going to be called for a travel. Look, you can't bring the ball down to your waist in a triple team. And if you're being triple team, that means somebody, two other somebodies are open. <laughs> you're right, yeah. 55 seconds to play in the third. Rochester still up by 18. Isbell gets away with a block. Shedro out to Hayes in the corner to Eckright. Eckright with 44 dribbles against Megan Nile. Picks up her dribble. Top the key to Timmy. Timmy drives it left against Mo at the elbow. Now on the baseline, throws up a tough shot, no good. Offensive rebound, and we're going to tie up <laughs> between Kennedy and Eckright. Eckright, her old body was off the floor, and Kennedy was just kind of holding the basketball and her off the floor. But once again, Culver, another offensive rebound. Culver gets an opportunity yep. to extend the possession. Eckright with 34 seconds, looks to get it in. Over the top to Shedro. Shedro drives it, kicks it out to Timmy at the volleyball line. 
Down the right wing with 27. Dribbles to the left elbow. Gives to Hayes. Hayes now to Eckrode in the left wing. Top of the key. Ball ticked off and stolen by Moe. Ruff. Left side of the floor. Goes up for the shot. Good and the foul. Morgan with eight points in this quarter. It's probably a good thing that 32 got on the bus and came over. Yeah, she's got 15 in the ball game. Yeah, having a good night. 37 to 20, uh, 37 to 17. Rochester up and mow the line to shoot one freebie to look to push this lead to 21. 15.9 to play in the third. Russ free throw is good as it rolls around and falls through. She's Moe's got, got six, yeah. 16. Culver 17. <laughs> she's trying to keep up. Timmy runs the point with 10. Takes her time and crosses the timeline with eight. Works high on the right side to Hayes with four. Hayes with the basketball high on the right side with three. Over the top of the defense. It's going to throw it out of bounds, and Rochester will have it with 1.2. Right in front of the Culver bench. That's 20 turnovers on the Lady Cavs. A little pressure now by Culver. Isbell gets it into Mo. Half quarter at the buzzer. It's good! <laughs> Mo now with 19 of the 41 points. And after three, Rochester leads 41 to 17. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is the place to shop for all of your furniture needs. Sofas, recliners, love seats, dining sets, bedroom sets, mattresses, outdoor furniture, and more. All in your hometown. Stop out and see Don, Mary Kay, Linda, or Joe. They want to help you find the exact pieces to fit your needs. Shop online at townhomefurnishings.com. Cheap furniture, nice game system. New job, steady girlfriend, wedding, dog that serves as a practice child. Little kid, little kids, oh. big kids, big changes. <laughs> so once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. She's got 19 for the ball game. She had three threes in that third quarter. She's got five for the game. We had a 17-point quarter, I believe, in my math right. We had 24 at the break. Macy Brown, three right wing. Yes! And now it's 44 to 17. Tim now with the basketball. Timmy, that is. Works against Macy Brown. Timmy takes her to the uh, elbow left. Now to Eck right. Walters against Musselman, top of the key. High on the left side to Hayes. Hayes, a couple of the dribbles to her right. Now goes back to the left, goes to the baseline. Foul on the shot is Hayes. Musselman's going to pick up foul number three. And that's going to send Hayes back to the line to shoot two. Seven thirty-seven to play in the game. Hayes is two of four from the free throw line tonight. Hayes with two, first one. For the sophomores on the way, and good. Shed Rowe with three fouls will come back if this free throw is made. Second on the way is on the way, and short is both a rebound. Jenny clears to Macy. Oh, Mo getting a nice deserved break. I just noticed that 30 seconds into the quarter. Isbell thought about a three, passes it up, gives to Brown, left side to Nile. Nile back to Brown. Macy thought about a three, gives to Isbell. She'll fire a three, right baseline is short. Rebound tipped around. Musselman comes out of there with it. The putback, no good, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. That thing hung on the front of the rim and fell <laughs> out. Let's try hitting a free throw this time. How about it? Yeah. 7 18 to play in the game. 44 to 18, Rochester. Musselman at the line to shoot two. First one for the senior is off the front. One more coming for Kennedy. Looking to become the second, no, the third double digit scorer for the yeah. Lady Zebras. Thanks to Macy's three a little bit ago. She's now Got at 10. 10. Yep. Kennedy's second one. Good this time. 45 to 18. 
Rochester with three and doubles right now. Of course, Mo leads all scorers with 18-ish. 19. <laughs> that was yep. ish. Isbell's then going to foul Shedro. And it's going to be Culver basketball out of bounds on the far side. Rochester has nine three-pointers in this basketball game. It's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Morgan's got five by herself. Eckright gets the ball inbounds to Shedro. Shedro drives it left against Isbell. Kicks it out to Binkley. Not a haze in the left corner. Ball being tipped around. It's going to be stolen by McKee. Stolen back by Timmy. Layup is good. It's Timmy's first points of the game. 45 to 20. Macy Brown on the right wing. Macy now dribbles back to the top of the key and resets. Gives to Nile. Nile swings left side to Isbell. Behind the arc. Now to Nile. No look pass to Brown. Three right wing for the Lady Zebras is good again. Brown now with three three-pointers. Lady Zebras with ten as a team. Starting to heat up a little bit. Yeah. Only took him three quarters. <laughs> Isbell steals the basketball from Shur Shedro. Shedro. Jumper from the free throw line is no good. And the rebound to the Cavs. Shedro will bring it up. 48 to 20. Rochester on top. Hayes, who misses the baseline to Eckright. Now has her. She'll take a long jumper over Nile. Shot no good off the support. Three officials on the floor. None of them no caught it, hit the support yeah. on the back of the uh, backboard. And Rochester runs the other way. Brown to Nile, to Musselman. Back to Macy Brown. Yep, three. Shoot it again. Right side, off the mark. No good. Rebound to Musselman. And she can't save it from going out of bounds. Go back to the Cavaliers. So Pearl comes back in. Megan... Uh, make that Emma Dahlquist will come back in for Rochester. Kennedy will sit. Five forty-five to play in the game. Rochester up forty-eight to twenty. Cavs basketball, and Maya Musselman, the six-foot freshman, will check into the next opportunity. Culver's only scored six points since the half. half. Yep. Timmy leaner on the way is good and a foul. I'm not sure who that's going to be whistled against. Maybe Isbell, I'm not sure. But Timmy will go back to the line to shoot one. Oh, Macy nope, Brown's going to pick up that foul. So Maya comes in and Megan Nile to come out. Five and a half to play in the game. Rochester up 48 22. And it'll be Timmy's free throw for the Cavs coming up next. Free throw is short. short. Maya with a rebound. Maya gives to Macy Brown after McKee hits Maya on top of the head with it. Macy on the right wing. Isabel's long jumper's good. Yep. Just it's inside the arc. From 18 feet. And it's back to a 28-point lead in favor of the Zebras with 5-10 to play in the game. Shedro, uh, we're going to have a legal screen on Timmy. I thought for sure that's mm. going to be whistled against Jenny Isbell. I thought so, too. Rochester going to get it back, up 50 to tw uh, 22. 508 to play in the game. Sorry. Timmy picks up her second, team second. Oh, fourth. I must have missed a few. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Brown of the basketball against the man-to-man -man defense. Macy crossover dribble. Takes her defender Binkley to the, ba to the left wing. And then the pass knocked away. Brown right there to pick it up. And we're going to have a tie-up. And it's going to go to Rochester. It's going to stay with Rochester. Just under five to play in the game. Rochester up 50 to 22, and Brown will look to trigger it in. Macy looking to get it in. Baseline right. Macy gets it into McKee. Back to Macy Brown on the right wing. Macy, crossover dribble, takes her to the, the baseline. Shot no good. McKee's put back off the glass and good. McKee's first bucket of the game. Now Rochester up by 30 at 52 to 22. Kurt uh, Shedrod will go back to the bench. Maya then steals the basketball. Maya with the basketball right side, and she's going to be fouled by Pearl. And that's going to be Rochester basketball in front of the scorer's table going to our right with four and a half to play in the game. Okay, can't throw, carry it to the basket, Maya. Just give it up. <laughs> I think she's she like, I stole it. It's it mine. Looking like she wanted to bronze that thing. Yeah. Brown gets it into Isbell. Isbell in the right corner. Law pass to McKee and right into the hands of Hayes for Culver. Shedro with the basketball. Crosses through the center circle, works against Isbell. 
Shero backs it out in the center circle. Drives it left. Good job by Jenny Isbell forcing her to go to left. Gets a screen from Timmy on the left wing. Picks up her dribble down to Shedro. Over the top to Binkley. Binkley against McKee. Takes her to the right wing. Now in the right corner. Cut off by the defense. Uh, cut off by the uh, good defense by McKee. And then she tips her pass out of bounds. It's going to stay with Caldwell on the far side. 4.05 to play in the game. Rochester by 30. Timmy looks to get it in. And has her entry pass kicked away by Macy Brown. We'll try it again. Timmy again on the far side being guarded by Macy Brown. Over the top to Shed Row. Morgan is going to get another opportunity here. Give her 20. Shedro pull-up jumper over the, at the free throw line is off the mark. No good. And Maya and Walters fight for it. Down low, it'll stay with the Lady Cavs. So Mo comes back in, and Isbell will sit down. I like that fight. Yeah. Of course, if she'd have blocked her out, she'd have had the rebound in the first place <laughs> instead of getting it tied up. Baseline right is Shedro. We talk about blockouts every night. Yeah. It's like I'm talking to a wall. <laughs> Maya then steals the pass. By the Cavaliers, she gives off to Ruff. Mo runs, bounce pass to Macy Brown, right wing. Macy back to Ruff. Mo, no look pass to Dahlquist, backs away in, throws up a tough shot, and it goes oh. in. Dahlquist with four. Three and a half to play in the game. Rochester up 54 22. Shedro runs against a point against Macy Brown, high on the left side to Binkley. Binkley against the double team, brings it back to the top of the key to Timmy in the center circle. Timmy, right side against Ruff. Woo, nice illegal screen by Shedro. She gets the basketball back on the right wing. Left side to Hayes. Hayes against Dahlquist. Takes her to the left baseline. Outside to Binkley. Top of the key to Timmy. Timmy against Ruff. Right side to Shedro against Brown. Now to Walters. High on the left side to Hayes. Over the top to Binkley. From Binkley to Walters. Now back to Shedro. Under three to play in the game. Macy oh. Brown's going to be called for the reach-in. That's going to send Shedro to the line to shoot one of the bonus. And that's going to bring Pearl into the game. That's three on Brown. It should be one of the bonus anyway. Yeah, it will be. So Shedro's going to go to the line. Charlie Pocock will come in for Rochester right now. And she's going to replace <laughs> Maya in the Rochester lineup. Fifty-four, twenty-two, Rochester. Shedro at the line for one of the bonus. First one for the freshman is good. You can tell this young lady, Brad, has spent a lot of time in the gym. She's a good ball handler. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what Val just said. A year of freshman point guard. We've seen um, a Joseph from Winnemac. Free throw is no good. Tipped out of bounds by Winnemac. Oh, it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Oh, okay, by Culver. And of course, Frazier from Judson. Yeah. And, of course, the young lady Shedro here from Culver. Full court press by the Cavs. Mo breaks the press on her own. We'll go coast to coast and will be fouled on the way to the basket by Binkley, and that's going to send Mo to the line for one of the bonus. Oh, nope, nope. going to take it Six. out of bounds. Okay. It's going to be on the sideline where Macy Brown will trigger it in. 2.45 to play in the game. Rochester up 54-23. to Macy will get it into Mo. Nope, corner to Charlie Pocock. Dumb pass down low to McKee. Her leaner on the way is off the glass, no good. Dahlquist has a rebound, and she's going to be fouled on the floor by Walters. And Emma will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Nice hustle play by Emma Dahlquist. Yeah. So Dahlquist, Dahlquist yeah. I was going to say Dahlquist with four points in the game. First trip to the free throw line. 2.38 to play in the game. Rochester by 31. Dahlquist, the first for the Southpaw, is good. Nothing but net. She'll have one more. Back into the game is Eckright. And Hayes to sit down. One more coming for the senior, Emma Dahlquist. Second on the way is Short. Dahlquist gets a rebound on the baseline. Out to Mo, right wing. No look pass to Charlie Pocock. Her way up on the left side is good. Charlie, Charlie Pocock in the books. 57 to 23. A smile 
Nice little smile. <laughs> Pearl for three, left wing for the Cavs. No good. Dahlquist grabs another board, gives to Moe. Rochester runs ahead to Macy Brown, left side of the floor. Macy, shot is partially blocked, picked up by the Cavs, and the outlet pass is taken away by Macy Brown. Macy out to Moe. Moe in the paint, stops, wraparound pass, and before the pass, we're going to have a foul on Culver. Moe will go to the line to shoot two. Uh, I'm sorry, one of the bonus. Morgan's two of three from the free throw line today. She's a, she shot better from behind the arc than she did from anywhere else. No, five three-pointers. Free throw's no good. Dalk is another board. Putback is good as it creeps over the side of the rim. Fifty-nine twenty-three. 150 to play in the game. Binkley. Walters, left side to Pearl. Pearl against Ruff, takes her to the left baseline. Travel no called. Shedro against Pocock at the free throw line to Walters. Outside to Binkley, quickly to Pearl with 90 seconds. Long jumpers short, McKee grabs the board. Then gives to Macy Brown. Minute 20 to play in the basketball game. Rochester up 59-23. Mo high on the left side. Wrap around pass to Dahlquist. And Nim is going to be fouled or called. Yep. yep. Fouled by Walters. Nim will go back to the line to shoot. Uh, one of the bonus. Dahlquist with five points here in the fourth quarter. She's got seven in the game. A lot of hustle plays tonight yep. for Emma. She's got which six, won't show six, up in there. Yeah, I got her for six boards as well. So Emma with one of the bonus. First one for the senior is yeah, good as it rattles around, comes, at, comes out, sits on the side of the rim, then falls through. <laughs> Added drama. <laughs> I've had plenty of that tonight. <laughs> one more for the senior. Second one's good again. 61-23. And Claire Bright will come back in or come in hopefully before this game ends. I think she's the only one on the bench that hasn't gotten in yet. Binkley throws it out of bounds, and Bright will come in, and she'll probably spell him a – nope, McKee. Nope, McKee. <laughs> Minute to play. Rochester going to run their mark to 6-3 and three on the year. The first, uh, what, two and a half weren't pretty. But Rochester – Turned it on there in the uh, midway through the third and in the fourth. Backdoor pass to Pocock. Lamp is good. Great look for Moe. Rochester now by 40 at 63 to 23. Binkley with 40. To Pearl in the center circle with 37. Shedro drives it left elbow. She's going to be fouled on the way to the basket by Pocock. That's going to send Shedro to the line to shoot. Uh, one of the bonus for the Lady Cavs with 33.7 to play in the game. They called that on rough. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. That's her third. Moe's had a fantastic night. Macy's had a really good night. Shedro's jumper is good, or free throw is good. How many does she have, Shedro? Uh, Shedro, six. Okay. Does that lead them? Second one for the freshmen is no good. Rebound tipped around, out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by the Lady Zebras. It'll stay with Culver with 32. Yeah, I believe it does lead them. Shedro will trigger it in baseline right. Still looking to get it in. Bangs it off the knees of Pocock with uh, probably about the four and a half second count. That's a headsy play for a freshman. <laughs> yeah, I'm is. not sure my freshman on the bench would be thinking about that. And now we're going to have an illegal screen on Walters. That's her third. <laughs> 30 seconds. Rough through the center circle. Wrap around pass to Pocock. Charlie with the basketball, a couple of the dribbles, now to Brown. Macy on the left wing. Looks for Dahlquist, can't get her. Now to Ruff with 15. Mo bet with the basketball and backs it out. To the volleyball line with 10. Right side to Macy Brown with 9. To Bright, 
Down low to Dahlquist. Emma in the paint. Turn around jumper on the way is good. And that's going to do it. The final 65-24 postgame show coming up next. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Over the past few years, RTC TV4 has produced over 1,800 local videos about you, your family, your friends, your neighbors. Now all of these videos are available at the click of a mouse on our website, rtc4.com. Log on today to see all of our great coverage of sporting events, school programs, public meetings, and more. RTC TV4 and rtc4.com. See for yourself.